Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is Radiology number 10. Uh, I spent a little by the screen. <laughs> um, yeah, so today we're going to be doing your case study. We'll see. Just like always, quick orientation to guide ourselves based on the background of the different gradient densities um, experienced with the human body during an x-ray scan. So this is just what it is. Now today we'll be doing something actually a little bit different. So we'll be doing our case study thing, uh, but this time, instead of me presenting a case study, I'll let you guys try and decide what may be the problem with some of these chest x-ray scans. Alright, so we'll just pause for a second uh, so you guys can understand what's happening in the picture. Uh, don't pay too much attention to the red circle. I'll explain that a little bit later on. But uh, yeah, just pause it now and make your guesses. Alright, so first thing we have to do is orient ourselves so the red circle is on the left side of the patient. And what we can see here is a really healthy right lung. We can see it's extended, there's branches inside of it, it's aired up. Um, nothing looks wrong with the right lung. You can also see the uh, hip bone. Everything looks intact. However, on the left side, besides obviously the heart, you know, kind of blocking some of our view, uh, we can definitely see a less defined structure of the lung. If we follow that um, curvature line, we can kind of see kind of plateaus, turns into white. There's not a defined structure for the lung. And combined with the fact that it's less aerated and more centralized shows that this patient has endured a, a left like lower lobe lung um, partial collapse would be the good word to use so yeah they just don't have the full function of their left lung here's another one a little bit harder than the last one um, go ahead and pause and make your guesses all right now, looking at this one is a little bit different than the last one. Um, we can kind of see both sides are symmetrical. We can clearly see the lung defined shape for both of them. But uh, if you notice one very distinct thing, if you look at the center following uh, like the separation between two lungs, we can see a really big white kind of uh, separation. I don't know what you want to call it. Kind of like a separator, like a divided, a big inflated white balloon or something and along with the uh slightly less aerated so we can see a lot of nodules inside of the lungs like that white dot space that kind of represents as some sort of systematic infection going on within the patient now um obviously assuming that uh big clump in the middle we can kind of more think of to be tuberculosis because because there's a more centered paraspinal mass is what we're going to officially call it in the middle. So yeah, that wraps it up today. I uh, hope you guys understood this one or learned something new. And I'll see you next time for another video. Hope you guys, uh, yeah, like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.